What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going ice fishing. We're gonna head on to the snow machines and head over to some lakes a few miles away. It's negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit right now, so it's gonna be a chilly day. We're gonna try out a new lake. We don't know if there's fish in it. There's a chance that there is because it has creeks that connect to the main river system. So there's a good chance we'll get skunked, but there's also a good chance we'll figure out something cool and know where to catch some fish, so let's go. Steve's cooking up some breakfast. I know you all can't see their faces, but uh, this is Steve and Tess. You probably remember them from the very first video I put out. Let's see if we can go catch a trout. Yeah. All right, we're heading out. Trying to get to a pretty remote lake that I don't think a lot of people even know is back here. And uh, we gotta go up and over this ridge. It looks like those guys already got stuck up there, so I'm gonna go help them get out. But I think if we can get to this lake, it's gonna be super cool. There's a good opportunity for some nice fish in there. All part of the fun. I think the lake's gonna be just through here if we can just poke through this last bit of woods without it getting too thick. All right, we made it. Pretty cool. All right, we made it. We made it! All right, well, we made it to the lake that we were hoping to get to. It's a super beautiful morning, a little chilly, a little, little negative 10. Uh, we used to have power augers for this kind of stuff, but I think hand augers are kind of fun because it gets you warm. And then uh, also it's just quieter and less things to worry about starting and bringing gas and oil and all that, so. All right, so I'm gonna put in a hole a little farther out, see if we can find the spot that the fish are gonna be at. When I get hot, so I'm gonna take my coat off now. Go. All right, well, I got my first hole punched in the eyes. We use this ice ladle to uh, get the chunks of ice out of the hole so that we got a clean shot down in the water. And now, uh, sounds like Steve's sled isn't running good. Something's up with it, sounds like it's running on one cylinder or something, so that's not good. So this might turn into a different kind of adventure today. We'll see. That's fishable depth. Is this better? Yeah, I wouldn't go any shallower. You don't want it too deep, really, when you're fishing trout in the winter. Kind of hang out in the shallows along the drop-offs of the edges. What you thinking? Cold. Yeah, it's a little chilly, huh? You guys are setting up the ice shanty. First time with this one. We'll see how it works. Wow! We got a house! Oh my god! Bark up the heater, baby! Okay. All right, we got a good one here. So uh, Steve got the shanty all set up. Got his brand new heater out and uh, well, why don't you tell him, Steve? Oh, I forgot the propane back at the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna hop on the snow machine and blast back and see if I can't go get the propane and come back before these guys turn into icicles. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Hi, 
All right, I just got back from fetching the propane, and these guys are catching fish. What up, guys? What up? <laughs> catching fish, huh? Yeah. All right. Two. Two so far. Two rainbows. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. Like I said earlier, we had no idea if this lake even had fish in it. So it's kind of just one of those things you got to like accept that you might spend a day getting skunked to try to find a new lake with fish in it. This is not a lake that's stocked or that people talk about fishing. There's no information on it. In fact, this lake doesn't even have a name. So we just kind of found it on a map and poked a trail through. And uh, sure enough, there's, there's trout in it. So that's a huge success. So now we got a new kind of secret lake that we can check out and fish. So let's see if we can't pull some lunkers. All right, it's time to get my little rod rigged up. These tiny little ice fishing rods are pretty funny, but I'm gonna put a little jig on there and uh, see if we can't get into a fish. I'm gonna tie on this little jig thing here. Tell you what, tying this stuff on when it's cold, it's not fun. I tie kind of a standard fisherman's knot where I just go through, do about five or six twists. Then I go through the small hole and then through the bigger hole that that one makes. What kind of knots do you guys use to tie your fishing stuff on? Curious. Everyone seems to have a different way of tying on a hook. In the summer we do a lot of fly fishing, so I like a nice small, kind of seamless knot like this one, but I don't know, let me know. There we go. All right, now we're fishing. Oh, the hole is already iced over. Okay. There we go. All right, and we're fishing. might seem silly to a lot of you guys out there but uh, the truth is is that it is completely ridiculous what we're doing but <laughs> it's fun of course the second I turn my camera off I get a bite so it's a tad bit chilly so uh, I think I'm gonna get a fire going on the ice so I can stay warm while I'm fishing. Those guys are in the shanty but it's really got, only got room for two so I'm hoping we can find a dead spruce tree over here without going too far into the woods. The snow is super deep and I didn't put on my snowshoes. We'll see how this goes. Once I step off the lake, it's gonna get deep. Oh yeah, it's deep. <laughs> Growing up, I uh, absolutely fell in love with the book Hatchet, which is about this little kid who gets stranded in the Canadian wilderness. And I read it over and over and over. Huge influence on my uh, love of nature and all things survival. So I'm pretty stoked today. I'm gonna try out this new hatchet. That was a, a gift to my wife from a friend of hers who recently passed away. It's an old fashioned hatchet, super sharp. Anyway, actually the author of Hatchet actually lived in this area. He passed away recently as well, but um, lived real close to here I found out. And uh, so that's pretty cool that we ended up in the same neck of the woods. Three. Perfect. All right. It's a hog. <laughs> Still not quite a keeper, but nice looking fish. They're really dark in this lake. Yeah. The first one Steve caught when I wasn't here, I guess was a pretty good size, but I missed it. So anyway, there you go. We're catching fish. Think it's another. Don't forget, Steve's snow machine is on the fritz, so all this is gonna probably culminate in a bit of an adventure to get back. Steve and Tess did me a solid and uh, kept my beer thawed out in their shanty because it'll freeze solid at these temps. So, cheers to you guys! Cheers to all you guys watching.
please subscribe to the channel. Tell me what your favorite beer is. I know a lot of you guys are hating on the Miller Lite, so let's hear it. Tough guy, what you drinking? We're gonna try to get out of here before it gets dark, just in case Steve's sled decides to break down on us. So we didn't catch any big ones. I think the biggest that we got was about 12 or 13 inches. I'm nothing big enough to keep. Still always a fun day being outside. It's always better than the couch. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get home. All right, like we were telling you earlier, Steve's sled is not running right. It sounds like it's on one cylinder, it keeps dying. We're pretty worried he's not even gonna make it out. So me and Tess are gonna ride out on my machine and just hope that he can get at least up through the woods and over the hill. And uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so Steve's sled is barely running. It's going like five miles an hour. It's a pretty long ride back to the cabin. So uh, I just brought Tess back and I'm gonna turn around and go help him out. I'm gonna grab a tow rope and uh, head back and see if we can't get him out of here. It's super cold to be breaking down out here. It's chilly. Right, so here's the update. Uh, Steve's pretty much totally broken down out there. So he figured out that there's a road crossing nearby where the trail was. So instead I'm actually gonna take the pickup truck with the trailer and go meet him at that intersection of the road so we can just load his sled right onto the trailer. So we got the truck warming up now and warming up Tess's fingers. So we're a little bit frozen from the ride home. Day of ice fishing turned into a rescue Steve on his sled day. Well, it's all fun games until someone breaks down and almost freezes to death. So it's another day at the cabin. Trying to figure out where he's at, but it's kind of hard to find him back here. Oh, I see him. I wasn't sure if I was even going to make it to the cabin. in front of you. Oh boy, that sucker is done. Okay, it's running. Just drag this thing on. We can do it. It's not that high of a wood. so much for the help. That is what Alaska is all about right there. Guy on the road driving by sees us and pulls over and helps us get that sled on there. So that was critical. That was getting tough. <laughs> Man, it's always an adventure with me and Steve. I tell you what. But uh, we're in the car, the sled strapped down and uh, now we're trying to make our way back to the cabin. All right guys, well that's a wrap for today. We made it back to the cabin in one piece, got Steve's sled and uh, no one froze to death and we even caught a couple fish. So thanks for watching, please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you guys next time on Alaska Cabin Adventures. Dave. Ah!